All right, what we're going to build today is basically a bench. I call it a mitered bench because all the blocks on the seat or the the blocks that make the legs are mitered. And basically it's just scraps that I've got here. These is five pieces of um, two to six treated that I've got that I cut off the end of a six foot picnic table. So instead of just leaving them laying or throwing them away, I'm going to use this to make a bench. So I'm going to go through the process of making this and it's pretty neat. What I've done is I have put the uh, first part of the frame on this thing and I'm building this table upside down so what's on the table is the face side. So I've got the first rail on over here and I just put two screws in each end. On this side, as you can see, the uh, I had to clamp it together to get them to go together, but uh, all the 2 by 6s didn't come out even, so I'm going to take a skill saw and rip this thing off straight, and then we'll put the other frame rail on. Alright, got the frame complete. As you can see, I just did a little butt joint on the end. You could mire that if you want to. Make it a little fancier, I guess. But I've just made the frame and uh, I'll show you how this is going to, uh, to work here in just a minute. What I'm going to do is miter a piece on a 45 and start building a little, I guess you call it a backwards V for the legs on each side. So we'll see that in just a second. Okay, after about a 20 minute rain break, I have got my four pieces. These are going to be the first and the last piece. And our uh, legs are going to do something like this, and we're just going to fill in all the little miter pieces. And uh, like I said, it's a lot of solid, but just cut them as you go. And um, you'll see in just a few minutes how this is going to work. All right, you can see these legs starting to take shape. Um, I'm just going to keep running this 45-degree uh, miter on out. And uh, we get down to the middle be able to either put another little square block in to make it longer or taller it's whatever you want to do okay this is kind of how i'm figuring out where to mark the next angles i'm just cutting this side on the 45 and then the short point on the last one will be the long point on the next one so i've just marked it here and i'm going to lay it in the saw and you can see right there where my saw is going to cut through so that's how i'm doing it all right, you can see I've got halfway down on my um, legs, and that is what they look like. And I'm going to just reverse that on the other side. And right here is my pile of stock. I was cutting double all the way through, so I'm just going to screw that together. All right, we've had another 20-minute rain break, but um, I'm starting to go back down the legs. You can see how this is starting to take shape. <clears throat> so this is what we're going to be making. It's kind of a, I guess, backwards pyramid or something. All right, here's a little view of how I brace this thing in the middle. It's just a two pieces cut on a 45, same length. And uh, that probably does make the legs a little sturdier. All right, I'm going to turn it over and give you a look at it in this second. All right, here's what we got. From the end and from the front. So this is a, I guess a table, little seat, bench, I guess is what you would call it. Uh, it measured, it finished 21 and a half inches tall. So anyway, it's pretty simple, probably about a two hour build and you can build it out of scrap. So that's what I like about it. All right. There it is, all finished. I ran it around it with the router, which probably was a mistake. As you can see, the whole thing uh, dressed it up a little bit, but I kind of hit the screw hole right there. Had to move the screws, so I don't know. A little more planning probably would have been a good idea. It's about a two-hour build. You can build mostly out of scraps. Um, I don't know. Set on the back porch, probably somebody enjoy that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. And thanks for watching. If you got any questions, let me know.